So guys, back for another video. Do me a favor, hit the like, subscribe, share this video. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by June. I know I'm not that I'm not very close, but do me the favor. It's a goal of mine. Let me try. To, let's try to get there. Okay, so today I'm on this kick with paternity. So here is Drum, a website, and there. This is a question and answer sort of situation for paternity fraud. So when you've lied about paternity of your child. Now this goes back to August 2nd of 2018. So someone writes in, I don't know where to start. I have been with a man for two years now and we have a son who is one year old. We came across as a perfect family, but it's all a lie. I cheat on my man and fell pregnant. In order not to jeopardize my relationship, I decided to lie about paternity of the child. So this goes to show you that when it benefits women, they will lie because they want to mess up what they've got going on. This worked out perfectly well because the real father of my child was denying paternity anyway. He recently called me to say that he would like a relationship with his son, but I'm afraid the damage is already done. Do I save my relationship and ignore this man, or do I tell the truth about the, the truth and suffer the consequences? The truth is there's an untold number of men that are unknowingly raising children who aren't their own biologically. A woman falls pregnant and is either unsure of who the father is or as often the case, she tells the father it, who the father is but prefers a different man to the father of her child. This is called paternity fraud. The thing is, whether you're married or trying to conceal an affair or you consider your current boyfriend as more liable to follow your child, uh, consciously des deciding to lie about your child's paternity can have a devastating impact on all involved after some time. Years may pass, but when the truth comes out, as it often does, the consequences are life-changing. Everyone involved will suffer the emotional d devastating impact, which will may well may well be accomplished by equal uh devastating legal and financial consequences more directly the child will suffer and so will both men and believe it or not both the false father and biological father as well as the child could have legal claims against you at a later stage i don't think that's the case but your child will suffer the untold pain of his relationship with the man he was raised to believe is his father once the truth comes out children you always have to keep in mind build their entire lives around and are totally reliant on the information given to them by their parents as they grow up your current boyfriend deserves to know the truth sure you have no control over how, how he will deal with the whole uh the whole problem but it is his right to know We'll be he'll be disappointed and angry and may even never want to have anything to do with you. But he has to know the truth and is most uh it's most it's the best if you tell him, is what they're saying. You'll have to press through the guilt, shame, and embarrassment, but you'll be doing the right thing. You cannot cage someone in the name of love, especially through lies, deception, and potential criminal act. Lay it down, lay it all out for him, give him the right to respond any way he chooses and deal with the aftermath. The biological father. It's disappointing the biological fathers first denied the paternity of child and then, and you have every right to hold him accountable for that action in order for him to square up with you. No, you don't. You had a boyfriend and you cheated on him. How is it that if you're cheating on your boyfriend with him, how is he supposed to say that it's like, how is he supposed to take you seriously when you say you're pregnant? You did that. You gave this man doubt. It's he's not being a bad person. He cheated on you. You cheated on your boyfriend with him. However, it is great that he wants to step up and take responsibility for his child. He not only has a legal duty to do so, it is also his right to have a relationship with his biological child. He may have acted like a jerk initially by running away from his responsibility, but you owe it to your child and false father to reveal the truth. If you don't do so now, not only is the child growing up, but your current man is forming a stronger bond with the child as every 
of his own every day. In addition, you may have the whole situation blow up on your face by a botchical of father who may be impatient with the whole situation. <laughs> wait, wait. The whole situation and act insensitively and in a manner that's out of your control. How is it insensitive for you to be lying to a man you cheated on about a kid that's his? Like, that, like that's the thing. Even in this, they're trying to say that this right here is like insensitive of how it's going to blow up on you. You shouldn't have cheated on your man. Now, here's another article that is from 2009. Our paternity test anti-woman. Okay, so down here, there's some great stuff. Of the advent of the modern paternity test, McDowell of the Times of London writes, it was astonishing when the technology became available that womanists didn't make more of a fuss about it, or really. McDowell mentions the paternity test that confirmed Jude Law was indeed the father of model uh, Burke's kids. Burke's kid and a millionaire who is trying to get 300,000 compensation for raising two children of his former wife who turned out not to be his own. These cases, she argues, reveals how far we've come since the time when only the mother and maybe not even her knew who the baby father was. How does a woman not know who the baby father is? Like, that that's not good. But McDowell, not sure this is progression, she writes. The woman's <clears throat> okay. So the woman knowing who's the fa the child's father was was when you think about it, the trump card of the sex is accounted for the vice of jealousy in men. It made a mockery of laws of inheritance, and it made male male claims to uh, absurdity. Naturally, she continues. One uh, deplores adultery and deception at least i hope we do but undeniably the ability to pass a child off on a man was a potential a potent female weapon passing off kids on unsuspecting men is pretty distasteful after all what kid who wants what kid who wants to be a, a weapon and the ability to lie about your child's uh parent, uh child's parentage isn't exactly the most female power um a great female power i'd rather make male claims make male claims to absurdity but god by saying being economically and politically equal to men not by making them raise babies that aren't theirs i bet a lot of these womanists who didn't make a fuss about paternity would agree with me but McDowell seems to think the paternity test is bad, not just for women, but for men and children as well, she writes. Now, this right here is a very good part of this article because what she says is very messed up. Imagine in the case of the wronged millionaire that he was still raising his two children under the illusion that they were his. Would he be better off? Question. Uh, almost absolutely would he be better off. Would they? Of course they would, with DNA testing specifics. Scientific, uh, with DNA testing, scientifically certainly has replaced the psychologic insecurity we all, and we're all the worst for it. So let me get this straight. Because you can test to find out if a woman lied to you, so a man should be lied to, and it's better for the kids, but it's not better for the man. He's taking care of kids that aren't his. He's living a lie. At some point, it would come out, especially if they had the, they the kids needed blood or something happened that they that it came out. Like at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's horrible. Testing here is kind of a red herring. The children of this millionaire are suffering not because of a test, but because of their mom's deception. Would their home life have been totally awesome in a pre-testing world given that their mom chose to hide their true parentage from everyone? Can she possibly have a very good relationship with the man they believe was their father, with their dad? The psychological insecurity this family might have faced without a, uh, without a paternity test would likely have taken its toll. While paternity testing doesn't, doesn't by any means eliminate child support avoidance, it does give women and children one more tool for holding fathers to account and a world where 
a man could always accuse a woman of bearing another man's child and she had no way to exonerate herself isn't a world isn't a world i'm eager to go back to paternity tests certainly don't solve all family disputes the millionaire's kids are evidence of that but given that their mom is reportedly preventing the kids from seeing the man they call dad for the first 10 years of their lives and that the dad is is now suing her for making him raise them it seems like the biggest problem for these kids is bad parenting and sadly there there isn't no there's no test for that so again this and this is the this is jazz bell so the slant on this which is sick is that everyone would be better if this woman's lie wasn't told to people how about we just stop having we just do mandatory mandatory paternity tests at birth because that makes it to where women can't lie they can't lie about it because the issue here is not the man's fault it's not the kid's fault it's the woman's fault the woman did it both of these two things that i just read talked showed women lying about the paternity of a father one in three children are not the child of the man that's tested so we don't know how much more men are raised like how many more kids don't know who their dad is and like we don't know how many people are out there raising kids that are not theirs this is the problem when it comes to paternity fraud paternity fraud is a problem as always guys tell me what you think down in the comments like share subscribe and follow me on instagram and twitter stay savage